popular mid-size crossover market has another contender with this revamped offering from Dodge. Hi, I'm Kim Bet Fennell. And I'm Michael Fisher. And you're watching Auto Trader's new car review of the 2011 Dodge Journey. The Journey's trip has been a little rough, with a lot of complaints about the 09 and 10 models, but there's good news this year. Dodge's designers have come up with a blend of performance, fuel economy, and comfort that actually works. Minor changes to the outside only hint at a major overhaul of drivetrain and suspension. And Dodge has finally paid attention to improving the interior. So there's room for seven in here and there's a lot of soft touch surfaces in addition to these heated leather seats. Overall, nice and comfortable. Yeah, everything's been streamlined, especially the center console. With the available nav system, you control all the car's features through the touchscreen. Which means less buttons and a cleaner look. Of course, there are the usual entertainment and information options available, with the Uconnect voice control system adding some hands-free convenience. And there's all these hidden compartments throughout the cabin. Overall, you got everything you need in here. Okay, I'm definitely feeling the extra power in this new 3.6 liter V6, more than you'd expect from a mid-sized family car. Yeah, it puts out 283 horsepower. That's about a 20% boost over last year. Now, if you want, you can get a smaller four-cylinder engine in the base express model, but if you have the budget, we'd really recommend going for the larger engine. Larger shocks and better spring rates have really improved the suspension. Overall, it's a nice smooth ride. It's a pretty quiet ride too. Dodge has really put a lot of effort into reducing road noise, and it seems to have worked. And all this fine tuning has affected fuel economy as well. At its worst, the journey gets 16 miles per gallon city and 24 highway. And that's with all wheel drive and the six cylinder engine. Fuel economy improves slightly with the smaller engine, but not enough to really make it worthwhile. Yeah, if price is a concern, rest assured the journey is pretty affordable compared to its rivals. The base model starts at $22,245. That's much less than the Ford Edge or Nissan Murano. Now, for a fully loaded all-wheel drive crew edition like this one, you're looking at around 30 grand. But again, that's not too bad considering all these cool features. You know, it's always encouraging to see an automaker put a lot of time and effort into rejuvenating a troubled model. And it's clear that Dodge has done just that with this car. I'm Michael Fisher. And I'm Kim Bet Fennell. And thanks for watching this new car review of the 2011 Dodge Journey right here on Auto Trader, the ultimate automotive marketplace.